Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put in a new caster block uh, in Kingpin. So, you know, most of the Traxxas vehicles have this exact same problem where when you impact something, the caster block breaks and the Kingpin bends. So we're going to be replacing it in this video. So the way that the caster block is supposed to look is, uh, look at this one over here. You just unscrew that, and then you unscrew that screw, and you'll take the whole thing out, and the kingpin will come out of it, will come out of it as well. So what you want to do is you want to get your caster block ready, and you want to set it to where you think it's supposed to go. So mine will go approximately right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screw, set that, and just try to get in the right spot. Be a little difficult sometimes but it's okay because you know when you get into rcs you should be expected to be doing tons of work so now we got that in now we're going to found the screwdriver i'm just gonna adjust the camera right here so you're wanting to screw that in it's about hand tight to where you can you want it tight enough just so you're not uh, getting either strip screws or stock screws. You don't want that. Okay, so now that you got that screw in, now you want to put this screw in. Now, this screw, it comes with a washer, and do not lose that washer because this is very important. You're gonna put the washer right here between that, between the camber link and the caster block. So you don't wanna lose it. So before we, Put that in we're just going to set our screw okay so when you get these things at least the rpm ones you're going to actually have to take your screw and you're going to have to uh, put a screw through it because it is not threaded yet okay so we got the thing stripped out and now we're going to put our screw in so this part after you get the you know caster block uh, screw right you know it's relatively easy going in so there we go. Okay, we'll just cut back. So once you get it like that, you want to get out your king pins and you want to uh, just set those in and put the tire on. So that way you don't have to uh, reset it because once the screw is in, the king pin will not go freely because it is blocking the hole. So you just want it in the right spot so that way when you put the kingpin in, it will, um, you won't have trouble. So just leave that spot open. Okay, so once you get your uh, tire off, you want to uh, push the kingpin up and line it up with the wheel nut. And there you go. So now you want to take your clamps, your little tiny, tiny little clamps and you want to put them around it so that way it doesn't come out. This will take a while, so I will cut back to when we get that done. Okay, I finally got those little tiny pins on, and I have to say, that was one of the toughest things I have ever done. It took me almost 15 minutes to do it, but now once you complete that, you just screw in your caster block all the way in until you're done. All right, now once you get that screw in, Put your tire back on and you have some fun. And there you go. That's how you put on a new caster block. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.